Meanwhile, more refugees have arrived via Turkey on the Greek island of Lesbos. Many of the 600,000 refugees who've made it to Greece Almost this year. Almost 100 a day in the last six weeks. Greece has become a major gateway for people fleeing war and poverty. Lesbos says it's running out of room to the appear. influx of refugees all across Europe. This coastline here is one of the entry points for the boats of refugees. Turkey is very near. In this sea, more than 1,000 have died in the last two years. And despite the fact that almost one million people have crossed, we are talking always about human lives. Lesbos became the main gate for Europe for most of the Syrian population. Asylum seekers must stay in the first island of entry during the whole asylum procedure. Now, since the borders are closed, there are thousands of people that are stuck in Lesbos for at least 10, 12, 14 months. That's why it's very important that we are here because the whole refugee status determination is taking place here. Moria Camp was a military base. It has been established as the first reception identification center in the Aegean Islands. The real capacity of Moria is between 2,000 and 2,500 people, but now Moria hosts more than 8,000 people. Breakfast, lunch and dinner, we should go and stay in the line, and sometimes it's not enough for the people yeah. fighting. We had a very big influx of refugees, so providing free legal aid is so important. They usually fluctuate between 10 and 15 lawyers on Lesbos Island, two of which work for hires. We provide representation before the asylum authorities. We also represent people in relation to their access to justice and to social rights. Now we have the partnership with Islamic Relief. We are very proud of this interfaith spirit between a Jewish and an Islamic organization. Sometimes you have to take a big breath because you never have a typical schedule. It is very difficult to choose our cases. People can either drop by the office. We also have these duty phones that are managed by the interpreter, so they can also call, WhatsApp. Considering there are so few lawyers on the island, we're trying to respond to where the legal aid is more crucial. I'm approaching prison where two highest Greece clients are being detained. We have heard some good news. Most of the clients will be released and we're looking for cases that could set precedent because they can have a multiplying effect in the future. Ovelia identifies herself as a woman, but her asylum papers are male. For transgender refugees, there is no precedent yet. We are off to another point. Okay, actually, we are here because of you mostly, but I'm very happy you both came. Right now, it helps us that you have separate cases because you have this pending case with Germany. So in the worst case scenario, and in the case that Germany does not accept to take you back, we will start working on how to better demonstrate the vulnerability, yes? Okay. And for the time being, we all, as humans, understand that it was very present what happened to them. A family member could die and they actually had to leave. But the law is very strict in this. I went back only for, for my mother. I understand. Okay. 
This is the third year that this island has had to deal with mass influx of refugees and asylum seekers. So everyone is tense. People are on edge. People are on edge. There was a protest at the main square by mainly Afghan asylum seekers and refugees who were here to protest in a peaceful manner about the delays in the asylum procedure. On Sunday, they were attacked by Greek nationals. They were attacked with stones, glass bottles, plastic bottles. We are looking at videos and trying to take as many testimonies as possible from people who are injured. This is uh, extremely important. And we're trying to find people who could identify some, any of the attackers. Okay. When the refugees became victims, it's very difficult to enforce their rights. We are talking about a legal black hole. There is no reference at all to his claim as a victim of torture. There is absolutely okay. nothing. Okay, I will send uh, to the Nile to be here. Yes, thanks. My name is Jalal. I'm originally from Afghanistan. More than two years ago, I arrived here. My boats land here. Still here. Imagine 65 or 60 people inside the small one. Look. I decided to stay here and I apply for asylum. Now I'm 40 months and working with the highest as an interpreter. How long are you here? I found the opportunity to learn the language. I found the opportunity to work. All of these refugees, they need that. It's not only me, it's not only Jalal need. No, it's all of them, they need that. Since the crisis started, we have arrivals of 200, 250 people every week and the numbers of arrivals are still increasing. The Greek authorities, have they told them that they will be transferred soon in Athens or they will stay here? The Athena or Lahena? Lahena. Here. Here. Okay. okay. The condition in camp is not good and I came from there, you know. I was in the same situation. They are my people. For us, it is very important to work for an organization that respects human dignity. We work in this field because we believe in these values. Doesn't matter where you came from, or what is your religion, what you believe. Welcome the stranger, protect the refugee. People, they're all human and they're all here to help each other. <laughs>